This is a walkthrough video of 4515 Wilkinson. I'm sorry, 4514 Wilkinson. This is on the corner of Wilkinson and Atlantic. It's a good location here um, between Honore and McIntosh. This house is really, really bad. Um, you know I look at a lot of crappy houses, but this one is really, really crappy. Um, what it consists of is basically, I think this was the original house here, and then this was kind of added on. Um, I think that was a screen porch over there that was enclosed. So it was made into a, a, a duplex, basically. This consists of two houses. It's a big quarter acre lot with nice trees around here. You do have big power lines there, which I'm not fond of. Um, nice trees on the lot. This deck is like the nicest thing on, in this house. Um, <laughs> so we walk in, and obviously we've got a roof leak. The roof has been tarped. Um, evidence of termite frass. House is going to need to be tented. You know, it's got to be gutted. I have to say, though, even though it's up on stilts, it's pretty solid. Pretty solid on this floor. Uh, you know, they attempted to, they attempt, you know, they attempted to make this kitchen work. Um, you know, this is actually a, a Corian, which is kind of nice. But look at that. Have you ever seen one of those? That's an old school fuse box. So that indicates that this was the old part of the house. Uh, more roof leak and drop down ceiling here. Um, you know, this would have been the dining room. I have to say the windows are decent. These are decent PGT windows. So. You know, it's got good windows. This is really two bedroom, one bath in this house. And so we're going to basically, I don't know what that was. It was a, a door of some sort. I gotta go look around the back side, but look all the door frames have been removed. Uh, indicates the air handler must be in this wall. This bedroom has a closet and there is an air conditioner. I'm gonna say, you know, it doesn't look terribly old, if you can take a look at that. I can't quite read, it's too small for me to read, but... Um, hmm. The bathroom, that's the smallest vanity I've ever seen. It's kind of weird, you got this wasted space here, which was, I suppose, a linen closet. Um, a dead cockroach, and... Huh, more closet. It's got potential. Like I said, it's $119,000, which is, which is the land value alone. So I don't think that this is in operation, but this is an old settling tank and well system. I'm pretty sure we have city water here now. Um, I haven't found, see it's disconnected. I, I don't think this is in operation right now. I'm pretty sure we're on city water here. And I believe the sewer has come through as well, so there's probably no septic. There's that door off the dining room. Here you can see the end of the old house. And, um, no, uh, I like how <laughs> this is just drywall. And that's on the other side is that wall. So they didn't even do anything other than <laughs> drywall over the opening. Uh, that's the kitchen in there, I believe. Here we got uh, another panel. And this is does not look to code. I'm going to say that's not to code. I don't know what's going on with those wires. But, um, so I guess this would have been the washer and dryer. No, I don't know. It's just a storage room. It's like a nothing room. We got more giant cables around here. I'm not sure where they're going. Uh, oh, I'm sure those wires went to that and got clipped. More wires up there that have been disconnected. It's weird wiring all over the place. Okay. <clears throat> This is the second unit, and it consists of this big great room. We have mold and nasty and termite everywhere. You know, how about that for a ceiling? That's pretty good. I've never seen a ceiling that bad. Uh, it was insulated, I think. Ugh, I'm scared. You ever seen this? Woohoo! Yuck. I think we got a roof leak. I'm no expert, but I think the roof is leaking. <laughs> So, and uh, this panel, I don't know which is worse, this panel or the other panel, but that is bad. Okay, this is the washer and dryer. No, this was the kitchen. Okay, I'm sorry. This, is the, this was the kitchen. 
So it would be possible to remove this wall altogether probably and make this one big open space. But you know, if you could get a duplex out of this thing, it's got potential. So I come through this. I don't know what's going on here. I can see they removed this wall. This must have been a bedroom or something. I don't know. This was, this was the screen lanai, I'm sure of it. But you can see this is all water, rot. This all has to be replaced or torn down together altogether. And I don't know if this, this area is worth salvaging. Um, but I guess you need it because you need a bedroom. This is one big room, bathroom, closet. Uh, I guess that was the laundry room where it was all nasty. Let me go back and look. I think that that has seen better days. I think that is not going to fly. This, uh, this is just a closet. Ugh. Ugh. That's a shower. Was a shower. Maybe could someday be a shower. But, wow, this is pretty bad. This is probably the worst that I've seen in a long time. So I'm just going to walk around the outside and, uh, it's pretty darn bad. But, you know, I don't know what's better. You can almost tear it down and put up two houses. This is a good location. Here's this exterior wall. I don't exactly know what's going on. But you see all the soffit damage. Um, I gotta add it up, but this is gonna be a lot of work. The house next to it, it's actually pretty cute. You know, well-kept house next to it. How'd you like to live next to that? Two cute little houses there. Dead end street here, as most of these are. But all in all, I, you know, for 119 at $68 per square foot based on the 1,900 square feet, I'm going to have to think about this one. I'm Jules Roman, Yorkshire International, 941-366-0000.